This video explains how to change the labels of a continuous ggplot2 legend in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data set contains two columns, X and Y, and both of these columns contain random numeric values. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 6 and 7. I have installed this package already, and for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and gonPoint, as you can see in lines 9 and 10. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot of our data. And you can also see on the right side of this plot that we have drawn a legend. And this legend contains the labels 2, 0 and minus 2. Now let's assume that we want to change these labels of our legend. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 13 to 19 of the code. So in line 13 of the code, I'm first specifying our plot object ggp, and then I'm adding to this the scale color continuous function. And within this function, I'm specifying the breaks of our legend. So in this case, I want to set the breaks to the minimum, to the mean, and to the maximum of our y variable. And then I'm setting the labels argument to be equal to min, mean, and max. So if you run lines 13 to 19 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our legend is changed because this time we have shown the labels max, mean, and min at the corresponding positions of our legend. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.